Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the straight line method in accounting. How do we account for the straight line method? Now if you're new here, my name's Jeff from Finally Learn, where I help you finally learn financial accounting and Excel and things like that. So let's talk about the videos we're working on right now. We're going to do a video on straight line method, that's this one, and then a straight line example that includes a full year, that's the easy one, and a straight line example for partial year, that one is just a slight variation. So here's where we are in our financial accounting chapters. We're in chapter nine, talking about accounting for long-term assets. So one of the things we're doing is depreciation. There's several different depreciation methods. So let's get started here on straight line. Now our depreciation methods, we have the straight line method. That's what we're talking about right now. We have videos on units of production and double declining balance. Now, depreciation is the idea we're going to allocate the cost of a plant asset over its useful life. Now, for a machine or equipment or a car or a truck or a building, then we allocate that cost over its useful life. Now, land, since it doesn't really have useful life, it's the only plant asset that's not depreciated. So land is not going to be depreciated. We need four things to calculate depreciation. We need to know the cost. And so sometimes you might have a problem that says, what is the total asset cost? Or what's the total cost of this asset, this machine or whatever? And it's any cost that is normal, reasonable and necessary to get it ready for its intended use. So those words are important. So you might have a problem that says, they paid a penalty or a fine or something like that, then that wouldn't be normal, reasonable, and necessary. But if they pay for shipping costs, they pay for installation costs, testing, those are all normal, reasonable, and necessary. We also need to know the salvage value. The salvage value is an estimate at the end of the asset's useful life. Now, it's also called residual value or scrap value. And in an accounting problem, a lot of times we have salvage value, but in the actual business setting, in the real world, we probably use just zero salvage value and make it really simple. It's just easier to calculate without having to estimate what is the value at the end. The third thing we need to figure out is what is the useful life. The useful life is the estimated number of years where it'll be in company operations and be useful. Now we also, we need to know the depreciation method. Um, this one we're going to pick straight line method, but units of production and double declining balance are two other common depreciation methods. Now what about straight line? Straight line formula to get the depreciation expense is going to be the cost minus the salvage value divided by the useful life. So for example, let's say we have our machine cost 800,000 and it is for eight years and the salvage value, let's say 40,000 and it's purchased on January 1, 2025. That means we're going to depreciate 95,000 each year. Let me do the math for you. So we would say 800,000 minus 40,000, put those both in brackets, divided by eight years. So what we have is we have 95,000. So if we change, let's say it's um, 400,000 and we have zero salvage value, then we'll take 400,000 divided by eight and get 50,000 a year. Or if we had a salvage value of let's say 25,000 and we're gonna divide it and we say we have a five year life, well, we have the cost of 400,000 minus 25,000 divided by five year useful life our depreciation is 75,000. On our next video, we'll work a problem where we show maybe all five years of straight line methods. So you can see how it works with straight line, depreciation expense, accumulated depreciation, and then book value each of those years.